Welcome back to Ask NCM. I'm Steve Hall at the NCM Institute. Today I'd like to talk about your monthly departmental forecasting. I'm going to specifically talk about the service department, though you can apply these principles to other departments also. Whenever I talk with service managers in our classes, many times I'll ask them, how do you do your monthly forecasting? And what they typically tell me is they say, well, we kind of look at the same month last year and maybe the last month or two and kind of see where we're trending that way and then we decide how, what percentage we want to add to it and we do it. Maybe 5%, 7%, something like that and that's our forecast. My question is, is that a real business plan? Is that a good way to forecast? Probably not. Things can change month to month and year to year. Things can change for the better or for the worse. What I think we need to do is do a better job forecasting and one of that is looking at our actual production capabilities. So let's think about this. Last year I did $200,000 in my shop for an example and I had 22 technicians on staff. Well what if this year I've got 26 technicians? Well adding 5% to last year isn't going to be a very good, uh, very good forecast whenever I've really increased my production capacity by almost 20%. So what we need to do is look at our actual production staff and see what they're capable of. Now there's several ways you can do this. The way I like to see it done is we look at the number of working days in the month figure out how many days each person works, including scheduled days off, vacations, things like that. We want to figure their average hours per technician they, that they turn, and then we want to figure the effective labor rate and gross profit that they turn, and the hours that they turn. Whenever we look at all of this, we can get a very detailed forecast, and we can actually see what our gross profit potential is. Once we do that, we actually figure out our hours inventory that we need to sell for the month. Now, if our hours inventory comes up at, let's say, 3,500 hours, once we do this with our technicians as an example, then we need to decide how are we going to fill those hours. So maybe we come up and we see that we have 1,000 hours worth of internal work we do a month between PDIs and between our used car reconditioning and such. So we need to take that off of our inventory. And then maybe we have another thousand hours of warranty work. We can kind of figure that up. Well, if we deduct off those 2,000 hours, a thousand for internal and thousand for warranty, off our $3,500 basis, that leaves us with 1,500 hours we have to sell in customer pay. Now we can figure out how many vehicles we need to schedule per day and how many hours we need to sell on a customer paid basis in order to actually hit our forecast. Once we do that, that can help us decide when we need to add technicians or we need to improve the production of the people we have. So my question to you is, can you get more detailed on your forecasting? If, you, if you're just taking the, I did this last month or last year and adding a percentage, we probably need to get a little more detailed if we're going to run a profitable business. But when you start breaking down and really figuring out your inventory, in this case your hours inventory, and planning your way to sell that, you can find ways to grow your business more effectively and see when you need to add people to keep that growth going. I hope this helps you. If you have any further questions, just send them in to AskNCM at NCMAssociates.com and we'll be glad to try to help you with them. Thank you very much.